And with that, I will kick it off by uh, passing it to Dr. Kalia. Great. Uh, thanks, Amanda. And uh, thanks for the invitation to join uh, for at least the beginning of this session. Um, and welcome to everybody who's joining today. I think these sessions are remarkably important, uh, especially during times when we can't see each other in person. So uh, allows us to at least interact uh, virtually, but also really important because uh, as many of you are probably experiencing on your own, the scientific endeavor and the academic endeavors that we take part in in the lab um, are expanding, uh, expanding beyond what we need to do just at the bench. Uh, and I think really to do exciting, cutting edge, um, impactful science, um, collaboration is an important key. And uh, from my own experience in collaborating with uh, companies such as, such as Cyclica have been really exciting and rewarding. Uh, I'll maybe spend a minute just to tell you about my own experience uh, as a way to, to start you thinking about potential collaborations or, or ways that you might be interested in working with Cyclica. And uh, as it turned out, uh, Shelly Deek is actually the scientist that we worked closely with in our lab. And I'm happy that she's gonna be part of the panel today and be able to give her experience and maybe even uh, expand on what we were able to do together. Um, so I'm a clinician scientist at uh, the Kremble Research Institute. Uh, my focus both in the clinic and in the lab is Parkinson's disease. As those of you who study neurodegenerative disease, you're probably acutely aware that we have no good treatments that slow or stop the progression of that disease. And that's a major focus of what our laboratory does here at the Kremble is to try and find new therapies. And I think, as you can imagine, having a tool such as, or tools uh, such as the AI platforms available at Cyclica really um, open up a whole different avenue that as wet bench scientists that we are here um, uh, allow us kind of um, to, to, to augment what we're doing. And, and that was really what this project with Cyclica allowed us to do. We worked together with Shelley Deke. Uh, Arthur Lee as the kind of strategic partner manager uh, was also involved and we were able to get OBI funding to help with this work. And then in my lab, uh, Anna Cranston, a postdoc and Kevin Chen, a recently graduated master's student really drove this project, which was really to use um, AI platforms with Cyclica to find new therapies that could potentially be used as what we call disease modifying therapies or these compounds that can stop neurodegeneration and Parkinson's disease. And it was a great partnership in that obviously AI, the AI platforms and the expertise and the bioinformatics from Cyclica were key, but this was partnered with our, our animal models and our cell-based models in the lab. Uh, and uh, the long and the short of it is uh, we were able to actually identify a compound uh, which um, which worked quite well in terms of uh, being able to reduce what we think is a signature of what causes neurodegeneration in Parkinson's disease uh, and uh, kind of hot off the press and I haven't even had a chance to share it with Shelly yet is that so we also tested this compound in an invertebrate uh, worm model that we have in the lab which models neurodegeneration and has also proved to be uh, efficacious. Um, so often people ask if we would have ever come up with these compounds that have been predicted by AI platforms and, and the one that we're, we're testing right now truly uh, I would have not from literature churches or from what I know of the of the literature ha have actually come up with this compound so it, it truly is a, a novel finding that we wouldn't have actually come upon uh, without this collaboration uh, with Cyclica. Um, so I, I leave it at that so you guys can get on to hear, uh, hear from the Cyclica people themselves. Uh, I welcome anybody who's interested in hearing more about uh, our collaboration or, or what the kind of nitty gritty is uh, in terms of how the day to day worked uh, with uh, going back and forth between Cyclica. Just please feel free to email me. You can find me um, you know, in the directory or it's lorraine.kalia at uhn.ca. And, uh, and I hear, I look forward to hearing uh, what the panels have, panelists have to say. Thanks very much.